Oh, it does. Yep. Oh, yeah. It still is in good shape. Yeah, for that age. Early 70s. Let's try actual drive. There's got to be a way that Rebuild those cars without, like, just those cancer spots without having to redo the whole thing. Yeah, without en ending up with more than the car, more than the car was worth new. You, <laughs> you well, know, rebuilt. Considering that that car was probably no more than twenty five hundred dollars new. a tough call. Yeah. But if you were to put it in the equivalent funds. It's an interesting statue there. I'm sure that someday. Let us see what they've done up here where the yellow sub used to be. I thought the yellow sub was down there on 23rd. But. Well, there was uh, that was our new one. Yeah. The original one was right here. This yeah. is where the crossing used to be too. A little, um, little bar. And there are kinkos here somewhere close to. I think so. called the Oread. What is the Oread? Jimmy John. A slice of history. Well, it looks like it's a mall. <laughs> Cave. They obviously don't want me to park this truck in there. No. I just remember this whole area had been blocked off for years, it seems. Go straight down here to the stadium. An interesting story when they um, tore down the, uh, the building that housed the Yellow Sub. They had a party the night before. And I think the goal of the party was to trash the place out completely uh -huh. and have fun. This place is up for auction. And uh, the next day they found a body in the place, who the, somebody who had been in there partying really hard or something and apparently cut himself on some glass and bled to death. Hmm. Yeah. Up in Winnipeg one time they had this old fantastic hotel down by the railroad tracks so uh, the area had gone bad and so it uh, the hotel went with it mm. it was closed for quite a while and they decided they were going to tear it down somebody come up with a bright idea having one last party in it Here's the um, Ice Stamp Studio Art Gallery. No. Oh, yeah, it does say, says Joe's on it. Maybe it is. Mm, okay. Remember Joe's? Yep. Yeah. Dog Benson Town. Yep. But the, when they had the party at the old Royal Alex, they decided, let's get all the old people that we can find that used to work there and have them come back. So they found old bartenders and uh, uh, bellhops and all sorts of strange people that come back. The bartender was standing bar again, and they all had stories. But it was only people that remembered the Royal Alex that went there. So they had a big band that that was what these people remembered, and so Delvin. Needed almost no security because hey, old farts don't cause much problems. So they had a nice 
nice party and just literally bats the plaster off the walls. <laughs> and then a couple weeks later they went in and tore it down. Said when they built it, the area was kind of depressed. They said, oh, this big fancy hotel that will bring the area all up. And then after it had been sitting empty for a few years, they were going to decide to tear it down. Hey, when we get rid of that Royal Alex, it will be a much nicer area. It will bring the area all up. So accomplished at both ends, I guess, going up and going down. That's one of those buildings I got pictures of somewhere before they got them down. Back in the student ghetto. Yep. The heart of the student ghetto, Tennessee Street. Yep. If I could afford it, I could live here with no problem. Love Lawrence. Oh, living in the city itself? Yeah. I lived here for what? Nine months, I guess. February to August 1997. Is that? Six months. <laughs> Half a year. And, uh,. I liked it a lot. The only complaints that I have in retrospect is that the town can be very insular. You know, like the rest of the world just doesn't exist. Yeah. But what I like is you walk around and look at the bulletin boards. I don't think you could find a night that there isn't something going on. That, uh, you might find interesting if you were into that sort of thing. So, uh, I don't think, if you put any, unless you were put some effort into it, you could not be bored in, in Lawrence, because there's nothing else. There's bars that got entertainment every night. Yeah, like I said, the bad thing that I did when I lived here is I just spent every waking moment it seemed at the replay lounge and I never really you know I don't know I guess I was at a stage in life where I just needed to be where people I knew were and I never uh, I did some day trips and stuff like that but I never really took advantage of you know explored mm -hmm. things like I should have of course I think we end up doing that a lot we don't explore the area we actually live in. Yeah. We go somewhere else and look at that. Yeah. I love Lawrence here. Just, okay, this is Thursday night in the middle of summer. Mm -hmm. And you can't find a parking spot on Main Mass here. Yep. There are a lot of cities that compare themselves to Lawrence, like uh, the city of Topeka, mm -hmm. especially when you want to go try and rent a space downtown, and they want to charge the Lawrence prices for rent, only, uh, you know, in the middle of the day in yeah. Topeka. There's no one there. All the parking spots are empty. Mm -hmm. Boarded up windows. And you wonder if it's safe to walk down the street. Downtown. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs>